Here's how to add a back button to your iPhone. Now, if you open up these settings, for instance, and just tap on something, let's say general, there are two different ways to go back on your iPhone. The first way that works with almost every app is to swipe from the left-hand side of the screen to the right. Now, this isn't a back button and there's no per se back button on your iPhone, but there are some other options. So one is swiping to the left, the other one is looking for the little arrow at the top left to just tap on it to go back. However, you can add a physical button if you wanted to, and you can do that just by tapping on accessibility towards the bottom. From here, we're gonna turn on accessibility touch. So tap on touch right under physical and motor. And now we're gonna use assistive touch. So tap on that at the very top and toggle this on. Now what you'll see is a little basically menu or button here that you can move around your screen. Now if you tap on it once, it will open up a bunch of different options or do what you have the custom action set to. So you can see single tap, I have it set to a screenshot, but we don't want that, we want a back button. Now, if you look through this list, unfortunately, again, there's no option to go back. However, there is an option essentially to go to the home screen. So a lot of times when you wanna go back, you might wanna go back to the home screen. So now if I tap on this, it'll go back to the home screen. Or of course, I can go through the process of creating something like a custom gesture that says back. And now if I tap on it, it will tap on a specific spot. Now those custom gestures only work if there's one back button at a specific point. But again, there's no real option to do this. Otherwise, you can't really have any other true back button. You need to either swipe to the left or tap the back button if it, there is one.